So, what actually are stem cells? Well, in the early development stages of a human embryo, the cells are all actually identical, just growing and multiplying. However, as the embryo develops, the cells that are in certain areas of the body start developing and specialising into specific types of cells, for instance, nerve cells, bone cells, liver, heart, etc. Once these cells have actually specialised, they can only re reproduce cells of their own type. Liver cells can't produce heart cells. However, in the early stages of an embryo's development, the stem cells can go on to form any kind of cell. These are like, if you think, the stem of a plant, where you can go on the stem down any branch or twig to any leaf, fruit or flower at the end. The stem can go to any part of it. Stem cells can replicate in two separate ways. They can either divide, producing two identical stem cells, that way the number of stem cells is increased, or when they divide they produce one stem cell and one specialised cell. That way the number of stem cells remains constant and they increase the number of specialised cells. Since the cells have the potential to become any other specialised cell type, and they could even be grown to uh, replace an organ for transplant that would not be rejected from its host because it was actually its own host cells that were being re-implanted into the body. The potential benefits for human health and medical research are virtually unlimited. However, there have been some major ethical issues with stem cells. As an obvious early way of obtaining them was from a fertilised uh, human embryos that had not started to differentiate yet. Some people had an understandable objection to, to this, believing that fertilised embryo was a life and experimenting with it was like killing a potential life. Others said that fertilised human embryos were being created and disposed of all the time in fertility clinics, so using them for scientific experimentation when the benefits to human health was so great it would be ethically unacceptable not to use them. What is less known is that there are actually two other primary sources for stem cells without using embryos. Firstly, human bone marrow. The advantage of this is that you can have a direct match to the patient. The bad news is the extraction is actually rather painful and it's rather difficult to actually get the stem cells out of the bone marrow. Second form is in the blood of the umbilical cord just after the birth of a baby. This is readily available but won't of course match a specific patient unless it's the actual baby you're going to be treating later on. So you can use stem cells without requiring embryos. It just takes a little bit of thought and a little bit of effort to get hold of them and therefore hopefully the ethical issues are no longer such a major consideration to using them.